And after you got your SATA 3.0 gigabyte hard drive, uh, you're going to click on it and then you're going to see a whole bunch of hard drives. You're like, all right, what the heck am I supposed to do from here? The next thing that people look for is pretty much the capacity. And what the capacity is, it's pretty self-explanatory, but in case you're just on cloud nine right now, I'll tell you guys what it means. It's the amount of information you can store, such as the amount of programs, the amount of files, and it's usually measured in gigabytes. And just to guys, give you guys a general idea, 40 gigabytes is uh, pretty small and about 1,000 gigabytes is huge and you'll, and you'll never use it. Uh, we went with a 250 gigabyte right here, which is pretty good. 40 gigabytes is kind of used if you're just going to like go on the internet. Anything over 200 gigabytes if you're going to be playing games and stuff. And anything over 500 is used for like video editing. And it's also the bigger hard drive you have, it's a bigger bragging rights. So, for all you computer nerds out there, get a huge hard drive and then just tell everyone about it. Uh, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, and a big thing that people look for, is the drive speed in your hard drive. And this is literally how fast your hard drive is spinning. And this is measured in revolutions per minute, RPMs. There are two types of RPMs, well not two types, but two speeds. 7200 revolutions per minute and 10,000 10, revolutions per minute. Now, you may think, alright, the faster it spins means the faster I can read and write data, which is true, but you gotta remember one thing. The faster your hard drive spins, the hotter it's gonna be just due to friction and just uh, the laws of physics. So. While, while 10,000 uh, RPM may seem like it's going to be faster, you do want to consider that it's going to heat. So, unless you have a sweet cooling system for your PC, stick with the 7200. I always build my computers with 7200 just because I feel safer and uh, more secure and happy. So now that we know what to look for when buying a hard drive, let me tell you guys what kind of hard drive I picked out. Uh, this is my hard drive wrapped in about eight pounds of bubble wrap right here. I picked out a Seagate Barracuda, which is the brand name. I went with 7200 RPMs, cause I always do. I got a 250 gigabyte, which is plenty enough for probably anything you're ever gonna wanna put on. And I went with a SATA, S-A-T-A, 3.0 interface and uh, we should be good to go with that it's probably more than enough for anything we're ever going to use it for so I hope you enjoyed watching my tutorial I hope you learned a little something if nothing so once you picked out your hard drive you're ready to move on to the next tutorial I'll see you then